Hi, in this example, we're going to show how to import a PSD into the vibration data toolbox, how to generate white noise from that, and then how to export it out of the toolbox so you could uh, explore it in uh, Excel or some other program. Okay, let's get started. So here we're going to first import the data by clicking this one on the bottom right. I'm going to load in a generic uh, file here, a text file. I'll call it PSD, select the file. Just downloaded it, so it's my downloads, psdtest.txt, press after entering, and there we go. So now it's imported, and we can test that by going over here in our workspace and hitting refresh, and you see there's 186 uh, rows and two columns, which would be great, so that's the frequency and the amplitude. So now we're going to go do... The input here, select input data domain as power spectral density. I'm going to do a time history synthesis from white noise of this PSD. So the input array is PSD. We'll do a duration of just 10 seconds. Uh, I'll make it nice and clean of a uh, bin width of 0.8 and then calculate. So there we go. Here's the PSD, uh, and you can see the time history. This is displacement data, velocity, and here's the acceleration time history. Uh, the blue in this is the the PSD of this generated uh, white noise, versus the red line in the middle is what the input was, and you see they they match up nicely. So that's great. So now, how do we get this out? So we're going to do acceleration time history. That's what we want as an output type. And we're going to save this as Excel and click Save. OK. And now here, if we go back over here, we should see another. Oh, geez. That's a little big. Uh, I'm going to redo this, but I'm just going to do one second long. And the, uh, that would that'll be good. Okay, uh, again, it's displacement velocity, and there's acceleration. It still uh, matches up nicely in the PSD, even though it's just one second long. Now I'm going to save this. Here we go. And if I go to my workspace, that's fine. Uh, 130,000 data points, so that should be good. So now I'm going to click over here in the main window, Export Data. So I'm going to do uh, Excel and then do Excel for acceleration and then hit export. Call it whatever we need, the white noise, uh, and then hit save. And if you noticed, It was there. Where'd it go? Hmm. Okay, let's do it as a te text file. Uh, and now let's try again. I will do excel.csv, or I'll, I'll call it white noise. White noise.csv. Okay, and this is working. This will be a decent sized file because uh, there will be 130,000 data, 130, data points, which Excel might not actually like all that much. But no, it's not too bad. I think Excel can handle a couple million. Okay, so now I'm opening this file. Now, uh, we will have to do a text uh, to, here we go, what's it called? Text to columns. So we, it's evenly spaced, so we can just do fixed width. 
and there. And then we can hit finish. There we go. Delete this. Delete this. Add some. This is time in seconds. And this is acceleration in g. And we can plot it. And there you go. And this should look like this plot. Yeah, we can change the uh, the format, and we'll just make it a number. There you go. So if you notice here, if I show this compared to the plot out of the toolbox, it looks pretty good. And that is how you generate white noise from a PSD input and then get that generated white noise out of the toolbox and into Excel or some other uh, format to play with. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye.